a special project day here in the Orpex uh, workshop. A uh, special request from a customer was to make it look like Spin Master produced a Clue version of the identity disk from Tron Legacy, uh, which of course they didn't. Uh, so what I did is uh, 35 milliliters of resin and 35 milliliters of hardener uh, for epoxy uh, and added four drops of this cast and craft uh, transparent dye in yellow. And then we did the, the blade pour, uh, which is currently curing now, uh, and then added an additional six drops to the remaining 20 milliliters. Uh, so whatever proportion that ends up being, what we're trying to do is match the same tint levels uh, as the Rinsler disc, but with yellow for the Clue disc that doesn't exist. Uh, so anyway, I thought you'd get a kick out of... Uh, participating in the the pour this morning. This is a brand new mold uh, which we had to make because the old one started to deteriorate which happens after about 15 or so pours. Uh, so that's really where your cost comes from because this epoxy is not crazy expensive and only using four drops of the dye means that the dye isn't really crazy expensive either. I think it was like six dollars for this bottle and of course you know you could do probably a hundred uh, at that at that uh, because of these these size pores that we're doing. So there you have it. Now we just let this cure for uh, 24 hours and we can remove it from the mold and then let it continue to cure uh, for an additional 48 to 72 hours. Thanks for watching.